I am pleased to report on the state of the Cherokee Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, the state of our nation is strong and it is getting stronger every day. In the coming weeks, I will propose to the council our largest investment in language programs in the history of our great nation. Those of us who serve in office are bound by an oath to preserve and promote the Cherokee language and culture. I aim to keep my oath and I aim to work with our council to save our precious Cherokee language. We will use millions of dollars in business, pro business profits to create a language facility to house all of our language programs. We will quadruple the size of the Cherokee Language Master Apprentice Program. We must act boldly and we must act quickly on language preservation. If we fail to act now, Cherokee's generations from now will be unimpressed by our health facilities. They will be unmoved by the size of our casinos. They will be bewildered as to why in 2019 the great Cherokee Nation failed to do what was necessary to save our language. We cannot fail. We must not fail. Ladies and gentlemen, we will not fail. As the grandson of an iron worker and as a man whose father also started his career in the building trades, I recognize that not every bright and industrious Cherokee wants to go to college. I recognize that jobs across our region call for hard work and education, but they do not all call for a college degree. If we are going to build a bright future for our people, we need to make sure that we don't leave any of them behind. I believe firmly that the Cherokee people want to work. They just need a government that has their back and will lend them a hand. So I will send to the Council of the Cherokee Nation a proposal to make a major leap in helping our people become career ready. I propose that we double the amount of business revenue we spend for career programs for our people. We need to use our sovereignty in the interest of the Cherokee people and remind the world that the great Cherokee Nation is strong and we're getting stronger. As I made clear in my inaugural address, our message to the state of Oklahoma is clear. Likewise, our message to the government of the United States is clear. That message is simple. The Cherokee Nation is the best friend that the federal and state government ever had, but our friendship must be built on respect for the Cherokee Nation.